Hey Math Aces and welcome to Mr. Ace Math. In this video, we're going to go over a brief example of how to subtract unlike fractions. Before we even go over the three steps we need, let's line up our fractions with the first one on top of the second. Now that we have that, let's go over the three steps. Step number one is to find the LCD. And the LCD is the least common denominator for the fractions we have. In this fraction three over four, the denominator is four. And in this fraction here, one over five, the denominator is five. The LCD is the least common multiple for those denominators. So what is the least common multiple for four and five? Well, that would be 20. Now that we know the LCD, let's go to step two, which is to use the LCD to create equivalent fractions. So let's start with our first fraction, three over four. Four times what is 20? That's four times five. And to create equivalent fractions, we have to multiply the bottom of the fraction and the top of the fraction by the same value. So now we'll multiply three times five as well. And three times five equals 15. So our equivalent fraction is 15 over 20. Now let's look at our second fraction. Five times what equals 20? Well, that's five times four. And because we need to create equivalent fractions, however we multiply the bottom, we're gonna multiply the top. So since we did five times four, now we'll do one times four. And one times four equals four. So our equivalent fraction is four over 20. Now that we have fractions with the same denominator, we can go to step three, which is to subtract the numerators. So let's set that up. And now all we have to do is do 15 minus four, and that gives us 11. And since the denominator is 20, our final answer is 11 over 20. Well, math aces, I know it was a quick example, but I hope it helped. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments because I would love to help. Thanks for watching, and remember, I'll see you in math class. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Questions? Comments? Leave them down below. And thanks for using Mr. Ace Math. Don't just pass math, ace it.